Hello everyone, if you don't know me already, I'm Tara, the dance doctor. Welcome to my channel. Uh, this is our third week of kind of Q&A style videos um, where I'm addressing some frequently asked questions that I get on Instagram and in the YouTube comments. And today's video is more about me. I am talking about uh, where I'm from originally and where I'm currently living, which is in Mexico, how I got here, and some of the reasons that I decided to stay and that I really love living here. Minnesota. Uh, I lived there until I was 19 years old. I went to school there. I went to college there. Um, and in the summer between my third and fourth year of college, where I was a BFA major in dance, um, my mom bought a property in the state of Guanajuato in Mexico, which is right in the middle. Um, and I just kind of decided on a whim to go with her, kind of thinking if I didn't like it, I could always go back to Minnesota, um, not really having a long-term plan. And then a couple months after I moved here, I got pregnant with my daughter. Um, and so this was almost 12 years ago now that this happened. Um, and I decided to stay because I was surrounded by my family. Um, I have two sisters and a brother and my mom and my grandma were all here and I just really wanted um, to have family around for this new and exciting thing that was happening to me. So that really initially influenced my decision to stay in Mexico. So my daughter was born here in Guanajuato in a a nonprofit midwife hospital um, and for the first couple years after she was born I was just kind of doing the mom thing um, when I left Minnesota I kind of felt like I was leaving dancing behind um, and starting a new chapter in my life um, I felt like I had gotten everything out of dancing that I wanted and that they didn't have anything else to offer me and so for the first couple years after my daughter was born I was just a full-time mom um, and kind of helped my mom out with her business ventures but more than anything just kind of taking care of my daughter and dancing found me again um, we were living at the time in a tiny little town about 4,000 people um, called Mineral de Pozos um, again in the state of Guanajuato and we had a little shop and a man came into the shop and was talking to my grandma who was the one working at the time and they just happened to get into a conversation and he said that he worked at a dance studio in San Miguel de Allende which is where I currently live um, which is a town that's about an hour about 40 kilometers from where I was living before and he mentioned that they were looking for a female dance instructor and I was out in the back gardening and my grandma came and got me and said you need to talk to this guy and so one thing led to another and I ended up working at a dance studio um, in San Miguel de Allende where I completely um, re-encountered my passion for dance. I felt like as soon as I started dancing again it was like I'd been walking around the desert for years and years and, and then finally somebody gave me some water. So it, 
um, became very apparent to me that it was something that I could not ever live without again in my life. I had many adventures while I worked at that studio, which I'll get into in another video. Um, I ended up leaving a few years later and starting my own uh, business where I was kind of renting different studios um, in, in Mineral de Pozos where I was living and also here in San Miguel de Allende. And then a few years later decided to move here full time uh, and have my business here because that's where really the bulk of my students were. By that time also, my daughter was at school entry age, and there is a lovely Waldorf school here in San Miguel, so it was just a, the perfect timing and the perfect fit. And I never left, so that just uh, gets us up to speed um, with how I got here and where we are now. I'm, like I said, in San Miguel de Allende in the state of Guanajuato in Mexico. Um, a little bit about San Miguel. I, I'm not a historian, but I'm telling you what I know, which is uh, Condé Nast uh, travel publication has named this the number one place in the world to live for the last few years at least. Um, it's always been ranked high on the list. And I'm gonna talk about a few reasons why I personally enjoy living here, which are probably, I, I didn't read the article, but they, I would guess, would coincide with some of the things, uh, some of the reasons that Condé Nast uh, made that designation. So along with being an international tourist destination and place to relocate, um, it's also a very popular tourist destination within Mexico. Um, it's commonly known as the Corazón de Mexico, the heart of Mexico. Um, it's a really lovely place to live and to visit. Okay, so starting with my list of reasons that I really love living here. Um, the first one is coming from Minnesota where about six months of the year are cold and snow and slush, which I don't personally enjoy even a little bit. I'm not a, a winter sports person. I'm, I like sunshine. I like being warm. Um, this was like a perfect choice for me because the weather for the most most of the year there's maybe um, three to four weeks a year where it gets kind of cold here um, but for the most part it's you know from the 70s to the 90s it's mostly sunny right now as I film this we're actually um, in the rainy season which is pretty unpredictable every year that I've lived here it's been uh, different um, but this is a particularly rainy rainy season and it's been gray outside for the last few days so as I'm filming this and saying the weather is so great I'm actually not very happy with the weather but speaking generally in the 12 years that I've lived here I have um, enjoyed the climate. It's also very dry um, and I, I enjoy humidity when I'm at the beach but I think for living I do prefer overall a, a more dry climate. Um, we are at uh, a higher elevation. I don't know for certain. I should have looked this up before I um, filmed this video but I think we're at like five or six thousand feet above sea level. It's considered like mountain desert mix. Um, so that's kind of the environment. There's lots of succulents and cactus um, all around. And also everywhere you go, pretty much you have a view in one direction or another of some mountains, which I also really enjoy. I also just love the um, ubiquitous access that I have to fresh produce. Um, so basically, if you just walk around town, you'll pass at least 10 different fruterias, which are places that just have a bunch of fresh fruit and vegetables. You go in and you, if you want one carrot, you can buy one carrot. Or if you want, you know, 10 avocados and 20 tomatoes, you, you can find everything that you need there. Um, a lot of the produce 
that is consumed in the United States is grown here. Broccoli, cauliflower, avocados, tomatoes, just to name a few. And so I really love having access to that fresh produce that I know is locally grown. Um, also, there's an organic grass-fed beef company um, in the next state over that, that brings um, their, their products to San Miguel de Allende and so I always have access to that which is really great because uh, as I mentioned in my diet and exercise video I uh, follow the ketogenic diet and so uh, and in that diet you do eat um, meat on a daily basis and it but it's important to have high quality meat and so it's really nice you know there's an organic chicken farm it, there's organic eggs everywhere and so it's and and they're all being produced locally I have the comfort of knowing that it's not being um, shipped from another place um, which speaking for the environment is is definitely a, a huge plus although I currently live in the country which is my house is about a 20 or 15 or 20 minute drive to the center of town. Um, for the last few years before we moved there, I was living in different houses that were kind of on the outskirts of, of the center. And one of the things that I really love about living here is the walking culture. Um, the town is set up so that you are able to walk pretty much anywhere you want to go if you live kind of within the, the city limits. There's also a major highway that kind of goes around San Miguel de Allende, um, so that makes it easier if you have a car or if you need to drive somewhere. But um, kind of adapting to the walking culture uh, has been something that I've really enjoyed about living here, having the option to drive or to walk places, and also kind of piggybacking on that. Um, living in a place where walking is just kind of a normal way of getting to one place, from one place to another. Um, as I'm filming this, like, oh, I love San Miguel, it's so great. There's a guy outside like incessantly revving his engine. Oh, he just left. So uh, a major adjustment that I had to make and that I continue to make um, is getting used to a slower pace of life. You know, coming from the US, I think um, a lot of people kind of think that the US's way of life is the way of the rest of the world or that the world should be emulating um, the way that life is lived in the US. And so kind of coming down here and seeing how uh, people put more value on their own time, uh, their own health, their family time, you know, their own space has been a real interesting experience and it's influenced me as well to kind of value my own well-being um, and just my own life over always um, grinding. And so I, I do work a lot I, I, and I, um, I do still have that mentality of time is money, but at the same time I have a greater appreciation for people who decide to value the different aspects of their life over um, work and, and making a profit. Um, and so getting used to a different pace that kind of reflects that uh, has been really good for me, I think. Um, and so that's just another little thing that I have, uh, I've enjoyed the process of adapting to that. Okay, I'm going to kind of bundle these last three things that I had written down um, into to one segment so that this video doesn't get too long. Um, there are amazing restaurants here. If you are a foodie, you are going to be in heaven. Um, there's a lot of great restaurants that do pre-Hispanic food, that do classic Mexican food, and then there's different restaurants that do Asian, that do you know Mexican fusion with other things. Um, basically here, anything that you're looking for in a restaurant, you'll be able to find it, and the quality of the food is just really high. I have had some of the best meals of my life here in San Miguel de Allende. That being 
being said, I have traveled to uh, many different parts of the world, and I do think that that San Miguel is a contender as far as just really high quality restaurants and dining experiences. Um, they have just some stunning rooftop views where you can see kind of a panorama of the entire town um, and the mountains. And I just think it's, um, it's not like any other place that you'll visit in that regard. But also, um, because it's a smaller, it's, it's a pueblo, it's not a, uh, a ciudad, uh, which means it's a town, it's not considered a city. There's no um, billboards and advertisements and, and things like that. And as a woman, and as a woman who's raising a daughter, um, I feel like she's uh, being raised in a place that's kind of outside of the mainstream in a really nice way. Um, there are just so many different types of people here and that she's not really seeing one specific uh, standard for what beautiful looks like. Um, she's around lots of different cultures and kind of seeing how those cultures um, mend and interact. Um, and so that is super cool for me to see and I I couldn't imagine really a better place to be raising a child. I just think this is just a wonderful um, place for that. And she's bilingual. Um, I've also, I meant to say this earlier, but I did come here not knowing any Spanish and I'm now fluent in Spanish as well. So that's another huge um, benefit of, of living here is that I have been able to learn a second language and my daughter is also bilingual which I just think opens so many doors um, and it's just a wonderful skill to have and there's no better way to learn a language than to really be immersed in it. So I feel very blessed that I have been able to do that. That is my story. Those are the reasons that I love living in San Miguel de Allende, why I'm still here in my beautiful studio. Um, and so that's all. Uh, if you have a question that you would like answered for next week's video, feel free to leave a comment below. And until next time, keep dancing.